Okay, so in this next one, uh, what they're asking us is find the number of years needed to turn $100 into $1,000 compounded continuously. So again, whenever we're looking at compound uh, continuously, the main important thing is we want to make sure we have the correct uh, formula. So that's FV equals P times E to the RT, where FV is your future value. Um, that is what we're looking for. No, sorry. No, our future value is 1,000. P is our present value, which is going to be 100. Our rate is going to be 8%, and then we want to figure out what time is. So for a future value, I'll put in $1,000 um, equals $100 times e to my rate, which is 0 0.08. Make sure when you're doing your rates, you're putting them in decimal form, and then we're trying to solve for t. All right. So when we're trying to solve for t, the first thing we want to do is isolate um, our, any, any term with our t. So we can divide by 100 here, divide by 100. OK, so therefore, it's giving me 10 equals e uh, to the 0 0.08t. Now, to solve for t, we need to undo having t in the power, right? So we basically, we have e raised to the 0 0.08 times t. So we need to undo e. And in my kind of discussion of e and natural logarithms, they are inverses of each other. So therefore, the natural logarithm kind of undoes the operation of e. So what I'm going to do is take the ln of both sides. So therefore, we have the ln of 10 is equal to ln of e undoes that, so you're just left with 0.08t. So now, to solve for t, all I simply need to do is divide by 0 0.08, divide by 0 0.08, and t, which is going to represent the number of years it's going to take at earning 8% for you to go from $100 to $1,000 is, see here, so we do ln of 10 divided by 0.08, and that is going to be 28, 28.7, or let's just round it up to 29 years. 29 years. Okay, so quite a bit of a long time, but did you really have to do anything? No, so it's actually a pretty decent, pretty decent return, right?